my God. It's true. It's absolutely true. CM Punk Supreme Edition, man. Look at this ish right here. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with an early morning toy hunt, man. It's time to go toy hunting. I know this angle's very weird and very odd. What the hell is even that? Is that a freaking pimple, Brad? Ridiculous. The audacity in this time of hour. But nonetheless, man, I don't want to waste any time. We're, we're on the hunt this morning, early morning toy hunt. Let's get it. I'll see you guys in the car. Let's go. Let's go hit up some stores. Bro, it's early as hell. What are we doing? What are we doing? Man, y'all got me coming out here freaking 6 a.m. Walmart trips, man. I'd like to know down in the comment section below who who else hunts really early. I like to get them out, knocked out early. I said y'all make me. Like I, like, I do this to myself, man. I feel like it's the best time to toy hunt is early in the morning. I don't know if that's just me or what. Or I don't know. I'm a night owl. I'm up early usually most of the time. Up late, up early. Just how it rolls, man. But uh, let's roll in here, see if we can find some good stuff, and we'll, and we'll find out. You notice this Walmart has the good logo out front, so that's good. Nice to know. This person's coming on the wrong damn way. God. Also, what sucks is that usually when you come this early, only one side of doors is open. So you have to force yourself to go in a different door. And then you got to walk to the other end of the store. That rhymed unintentional. Anyway, let's get it. Roll damn tide pile. They've significantly upgraded this Walmart though. Like, it's the first time they've renovated in like, like my entire life. So that's wild. All right, man. It looks like we got the same bull crap. Naughty Piper, no Hogan, no Papa Shango. We got, these have been here for so long. Every toy hunt, you're never gonna see them move. They're gonna live here forever. The freaking music's turned up a million. These have been here forever. Last toy hunt, same stuff was here. Anna J, we got Dax, we got Nyla. Been here forever. Christmas Carols, AJ Styles, Elite 104. I don't think I bought that last time, did I? I don't think I did. So somebody bought one AJ Styles, so that's good to know. Um, I don't see anything hiding. I do have Ultimate Rob, though. Uh, Low-key might cop one. I don't know. When they just sit here, man, makes me want to cop one. Same thing with the Lesnar. Love that figure. We got a Million Bliss. We got a restock on Ruthless Miz. Rock and MVP. I feel like the MVP you don't see a lot of. Am I tripping? I feel like the MVP you don't see a lot. I only have one of them, but beautiful looking figure. Mm, I don't know. Rock, 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 rock. Miz. And then it's all the same stuff that we've seen. Bianca, 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 Bianca. Jesus in heaven. These will never leave. So let's see, these used to be in full force like these Biancas are. And then uh, it took years. These are still here. There was like a million of the Charlotte. And then there was a million of the Chelsea Green. They sat here forever and now they're gone. And now we got just a ton of Biancas. There's another Bianca back there, but Lord in heaven, man. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's not like the worst selection of all time, but certainly not, you know, compared to the other Walmart in town, which we're gonna go to after this. Um, it's pretty small. Are you shishing me, Brad? Dude. Oh my God in heaven. These are literally fully thawed. They're not even wet anymore. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Well, you saw it here. It was between figs and meat, and they chose to get the figs, I guess. Holy crap. That's insanity. Dude, what the hell? Thin Chops. Thin Chops Premium Pork. Look at that. Hand selected and hand trimmed and hand left in the fig section to just... What did they die for? They they, they sacrificed everything, for, but for what cost? My God in heaven. That is brutal. The rest of everything, I mean, these don't ever move. Ever. I don't ever see anything missing from this section. McFarland and everything. I uh, low-key need this horse, though. I need to build the horse. I don't know if they have the rest of the wave, but I think these are all full price, so it's not like it would matter anyway. Like, none of this stuff ever moves. Like, that, people don't even pick it up. People don't even pick it up and, like, move it around. It's just the same stuff over and over again. And then for Marvel, it's uh, the Marvel's wave and then just a bunch of other stuff that's been here forever. So, nothing I need, nothing I want. 
nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't need it, don't want it. Looking for uh, just a random storyteller. Just, just random as hell. Oh my God, I didn't even know those existed. Boy, oh boy. We have uh, found nothing. What a failure. Nothing we need, at least. Lucky you want to cop another one of these Rob Van Dams, though. I don't know. Ah, choices. At least I didn't leave some damn meat out here. All right, man, they say this Walmart has Supreme CM Punk. We're going to find the hell out, man. We're going to go in here and see if they indeed do. This has been the Walmart that's been absolutely stacked. So will the street continue, man? We're going to find the hell out. Join me as we adventure. All right, fellas, here we go. Oh, my God. It's true. It's absolutely true. CM Punk Supreme Edition, man. Look at this ish right here. I wish I would have, like, not known that it was here, you know, and just shown up and found it, but this is still a massive W. Just an absolute immaculate W. Two, three. So they have three Supreme CM Punks here. And then we do have, uh, you know, same stuff as last time. We got Penta from Unmatched Series 7, dude. Oh, my God. How beautiful finally seeing this in person. A ton of accessories. Love the camo gear going on. This is freaking amazing. Okay. I don't know. I'm definitely getting one. I'm definitely going to secure one of these. You also have Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. First time seeing this at retail. Beautiful figure. I've seen this going for really cheap online, though. Um, I don't think I'm going to be grabbing it, but they do have four of these. So that's amazing. This is an amazing underrated figure. I love this one right here. We also have Pat McAfee in the house. Okay, so we have the chase as well. This uh, Dude, what a loaded toy hunt. My God. So we got Supreme Sim Punk, we got Pat McAfee, we got the Chase, both versions of Pat McAfee, a couple of those. It looks like we have, what else? We got Bobby Roode in the house, we got Bobby Roode. Okay, we got Ziggler, we got another Ziggler. I don't see the Chase. There's that Hogan. This whole wave looks to be here. We have Hulk Hogan, this is a fantastic basic. Got the old articulation in there, great looking head sculpt. We got, what is this, Top Picks Cody? But they have the full wave here, man. Oh, they have this other wave. So it's two different waves. There's the Matt Riddle. We got Zia Lee, Zia Lee, Goldberg back there. We got Pat McAfee. There's the John Cena with the uh, You're Killing Me Smalls bill on the hat. Got the molded hat on there, which is crazy. So you got John Cena, Pat McAfee, Hulk Hogan. Loaded basics, man. Really wishing that the... You know, the new basics were hitting. Not yet, though. There's Liv Morgan right there. And then, uh, looks like a bunch of ruthless aggression, dude. This whole store is stacked. Like, the most stacked Walmart you'll see, man. Elite 100. We got... What else we got over here, man? I mean, there is a ton of stuff. We got the Tamina figure still. Roman Reigns. We got Braun Breaker still back there. These are the new championship showdown packs. We got Biggie and Bobby Lashley. Another Biggie and Bobby Lashley. Let's go ahead and set these over here because I think they have the full wave. Alexa Bliss and Charlotte looking good right there. I can't remember who the third one was in this pack. Was it Cody Rhodes? No, it was Austin Theory, wasn't it? Or was it Randy Orton and Matt Riddle or something like that? Hold up. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, dude, look at this Matt Riddle basic right here. Looking fantastic. That's a great looking RK, RK Bros right here, man. Got the SmackDown tag titles. Really nice looking basics. Championship showdown packs. Looking pretty good. Still waiting on, you know, the new ones. But still pretty cool nonetheless to see all these in person. Got superstars. Rick Rude, Mr. Perfect. Got Roddy Piper. Still haven't seen the Hogan superstars, but this is still crazy. Like, this is the most stacked. I mean, I know we say it's stacked every single time, but with Supreme CM Punk, with the Ultimate Edition Randy Orton, with the new basic waves over here, man. We have an incredible trip right here. Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. I'd get that if I had the newer head sculpt, but I'm not going to get that. We got uh, Nikki Asher, ASH right here. Um, dang, i got to make some decisions, decisions, man. God in heaven. I'm going to have to make some decisions. I think I'm definitely going to be getting a Pat McAfee. Definitely getting a Pat McAfee. Definitely getting a Supreme Sam Punk. I don't know. Should I get the Chase, too? I feel like, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to, I don't know if I, like, do you need this? Like, I don't know, man. I love Pat McAfee, but do I need the Chase version as well? I don't know. That's a maybe, but 
skipping Randy Orton. I already have one minimum card. I already have one loose. And I think I saw a really, a really good deal for that on eBay. So we're going to wait on that. There's another Matt Riddle. Put that there. He's even got the toes painted right there, which is interesting. And the fingernails. So pretty cool gear right there in the black and green. I'm going to be leaving Smalls John Cena just because I don't like the hat size. It's like way too big. I don't like that. But the Hulk Hogan basic, this is going to fly. I'm going to leave this here, and this is going to be gone next time for sure. Basic 39 Hulk Hogan. We got a random box here on the ground. Ruthless Aggression Elites. Huh, I wonder if it's going to be the rock the rock wave. Is going to be this wave, or is it going to be the, the Edge JBL set? Because I still don't have Edge or JBL. Uh, I might open that. We'll have to see. But we have Penta. We got a ton of Chris Jericho and Eddie Kingston over here. We've got a Superstars Rock. Uh, I guess I can put this right here. Put that right there. There's another Hulk Hogan up here. Pretty cool up there. Um, what else we got up here? Is this Typhoon? And okay, so we got another Roddy Piper. We got a Batman, and then we have uh, what else we got? We have another Superstars figure. It is Bray Wyatt. If you guys are wondering why I'm not checking back here, it's because it's all the same stuff. Elite 100, Becky, 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 Stunning Steve, Liv Morgan, Ruthless Aggression Rock, Ray, Ray, Elite 100, Cena. And then it's like all the same stuff that have been here before. So a lot of Walmart eddies. And then the rest of this stuff. I mean, we got a lot of new stuff, but a lot of this stuff is repeat. So yeah, it's all Roman. Look at all those Romans. That's ridiculous. By the time Christmas hits, a lot of this stuff's going to be gone, man. Guarantee it guaranteed Christmas they're going to clear all this out but um I hope I don't open up that ruthless aggression box and it's just all rock figures but dang dude I can't believe we found the freaking CM Punk that's freaking gorgeous immaculate immaculate that's awesome so and then uh we do have ultimate edition RVD which is a beautiful figure oh my god his chair's missing holy shit somebody stole the chair out of here Oh my dude, who is the dude? For a chair, you left the title, you left the figure, you left the head sculpts, and you steal a black chair out of here. That's absolute garbage. What trash. But then we have Lesnar. Did anybody steal anything out of these? No. Dude, that's crazy. My God. So I opened up the box, and it's all rocks. It's or it's three rocks. It's three rocks. One MVP. One. Uh, one Miz. So. That is what's in there, but uh, I think this is rocks, man. Jesus Christ. They overstocked the rocks. I guess it's because they, they add more to the they add more to the box, but what a just a crazy stacked Walmart, man. Freaking sweet. All right, man, back home after the toy hunt. Let's show off what we got today, man. We got some pretty good stuff. I thought it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting development, and it was good stuff. It was obviously good stuff, man, but let's show off what we got. First off, we did pick up the regular edition basic Pat McAfee. I'm a big Pat McAfee guy, actually, at the time of recording this, actually. Uh, college game day is about to start, you know, so uh, we're ready to go. Big day of college football. Going to be glued to my couch for 12 hours. That's just the way it works, man, but really happy to have this. Looking forward to the Elite, but I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and grab the basic for now, and we could always, uh, we're, we're going to get the Elite, of course, but maybe we can make a, like, a placeholder Pat McAfee on action figure surgery or something like that, which is coming soon. Surgery will return the return is imminent, so just stay tuned for that, man. But we also picked up the basic chase because I'm an idiot. So I was like, you know what? Like, this is where I struggled. I almost only grabbed the chase, and then I almost gr only grabbed the base, like the regular edition. And I was like, you know what, man? I love Pat McAfee, so let's go ahead and just grab both of them. So we did grab the chase edition and the regular edition. Since I like Pat McAfee, I went ahead and, and went for that. So we do have both of editions of that. Then the big grail piece has got to be the Supreme Collection CM Punk figure. Now, at the time you're seeing this, uh, I've already posted my review. I posted my review of this figure yesterday at the time of recording this, so definitely go check that out. But this is the figure, man. It is a beauty. Definitely, I have a full mint on card Supreme Collection, you know, uh, just Supreme Collection collection, I guess you could say, or just a full mint on card collection of the Supreme. So I did want to go ahead and add this one. I think, you know, this is for now, this is the last one we have. We do have that Malachi Black, like Jazz Wears Vault exclusive or whatever. That's going to be what, one of 3,000 or something like that. It's coming relatively soon, I imagine, in 2024. So we'll definitely have to add that one. But for now, this is the last Supreme Collection until that one releases. But we also got this CM Punk figure. Now, I do want to show off some hauls that we got that were not included in the toy hunt first of all beings we do have this like retro carded target exclusive 
uh, Spider-Man right here. So we did pick this up, which was beautiful. I am going to open this eventually, but I still have it uh, meant on card right here. And I also found the animated series Batman, like the new, the newest Batman series. And so I did grab the uh, Spider-Man to go with that, but I gave that to my brother to review on his channel. So uh, once that's posted, I'll definitely let you guys know about that if you guys want to go check him out and everything like that. Plenty of work from him to come, but we do have that. And we also have this package came to my came from my man Rob, and Rob hooked us up with a Sunday Night Heat Series 11 Jeff Hardy. Now, I vividly remember getting this for Christmas in 2001 or 2002. I want to say it was 2001, but it even has the KB Toys sticker on there, which is just super nostalgic. This is very minty fresh, too. This is not just your standard, like, busted packaging, man. This is a trip down memory lane. This is just beautiful. So, this is right up my era. This is just all childhood, just embraced right here, man. I would love to see Mattel tackle all of these looks from these characters, because we don't get these a lot, so I would love to see that, man. Look at these head sculpts for, from 22 years ago, still holding up to this day. Well, maybe not Triple H over here, but the rest of these just look so good, man. So this was amazing. Thank you to Rob for hooking us up with not only this Jeff Hardy, he only, he also hooked us up with the Chase edition of the former Lesnar. Been wanting this figure for a really long time, so he hooked us up with this one. This is beautiful. I, I was so happy to see this figure and unbox it and uh, get the get this in hand. So we're definitely going to be uh, getting this and putting it in the loose collection. I think this is the only Brock Lesnar, uh, at least the modern ones, that I'm missing. So this is beautiful. So happy to have former Brock. I love that Elite 99 Brock Lesnar. One of my favorite. It may have it may have been my favorite figure from last year, maybe the year before. I don't know what his time, man. I think it was last year, though, that uh, this was my number one figure of the year. And he also sent us the 1 of 5,000 Chase CM Punk figure, which I did not expect, man. Rob is an absolute lunatic. This is amazing. And I know it's not like he even, you know, he knows that it's not the most, like, crazy Chase figure. But this is still a Chase that I did not have in the collection. So we do have the 1 of 5,000 Chase CM Punk figure. And he sent this all to me because he found me a Supreme CM Punk figure. So I, I appreciate it so much, Rob, man. You, you're an absolute lunatic. But he did send us uh, this. And this is what I was saying. I unboxed this on the same day that uh, I received other CM Punks, like deals that I made for the CM Punks. And so I bought this one off of him, and then he just wanted to be gracious and sent us this, these extra goodies. So I did want to give a huge shout-out to Rob, man. Thank you so much, brother, for the for the epic stuff, man. This is a great package. We got a few CM Punk Supremes here, and I look forward to uh, on, you know getting some usage out of these, doing some surgeries and whatnot. But this, was, uh, it, this touched my heart, man, so I appreciate it so much for the – epic unboxing of all these figures man the jeff hardy is so crazy i mean all of them are great but this one is just uh it hits me right in the nostalgia feels love that jersey look love the head sculpt great figure i had like so many jeff hardys growing up and i remember vividly getting the uh tron live right here man this is beautiful now we just need an entrance stage from Mattel, and maybe we can have some entrance music coming from those as well. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MD2 YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much, including Rob. Huge shout-out to Rob, man. You are an absolute beast, man. Love you and love all of our patrons so very much here on the channel. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the hunt down below. Have you found the Supreme CM Punk yet? Let me know down in the comment section below. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and I'll see you next time.